Okay, uh, I guess uh, Dad's gonna sell this a uh, six wheeler. Um, I believe it's a 95. They call it a Max 2 because uh, I guess they consider it a two seater. Um, he bought this new, I believe it was back in 95. Um, originally bought it to go out in the marsh and count uh, the piles of moss that the workers would pull. Um, we don't do that anymore. Uh, we pull with a machine now. Um, this pretty much pretty much just sits in the shed now. And, uh, we don't really do anything with it so it's time to uh, get it to someone that is going to actually use it. I've done quite a bit of stuff to this. Um, I made a custom front bumper for it. Um, the headlights are LED. It's got a uh, 3,500 pound uh, winch on the front. Um, I've actually never used it. Uh, it's got uh, it's got two or three bad tires. Um, they won't hold any air. Well, I mean they hold air for a little while, but then they, they it leaks out. Uh, I believe there's two or three of them are, are like that. Um, I put these uh, boat seats in here. Um, it doesn't come this way. It comes with like a bench. But uh, I think these seats are more comfortable than, the, than a bench. Um, I've added a uh, 12 volt outlet. Uh, I put an hour meter on there but I never could find a power source strong enough to actually run it. So it's only got like uh, 1.3 hours on it but I never... It, th this machine doesn't have much for hours because it, sh it wasn't really used a whole lot. It's got an amp meter on it too. Um, it's got a switch here for um, a heated throttle cable. So when you're running it in uh, the winter, your throttle cable don't freeze up on you. And that's pretty much a must, having a heated cable for the winter time. Uh, then it's got a choke. Um, I extended this handle uh, just because it's, uh, it makes it easier to, to run like this. I was going to extend the throttle cable but just never got around to it because we really don't use it that much so it never got done. Uh, I built this little rack here for the back to hold stuff. It's got a little tailgate on it. Um, it uh, I made a, a bumper, a rear bumper for it. And I can't really raise it up for you to see it now, but uh, the bumper is braced. It's, it's braced all the way down to the frame. Um, you can see that kind of on the front one. Because the front's got a winch, so it went all the way to the frame of the machine. So you should be able to pull yourself out of anything with that winch and not not rip the front end off. Um, it's got a little hitch in the back. These it will actually uh, float in water. Um, this one has never been out floating in the water. Uh, uh, the most we've done was gone into a marsh. Um, they're almost unstoppable. Uh, the thing that will stop these is getting um, high centered. Um, you can see, it's not a whole lot of clearance. Um, I was going to put uh, bigger tires on this. Um, there's a website, I forget what it is, 6x6 something. And guys have got these all modified. They put enclosures on them and stuff like that, bigger tires. But due to really never using it, I never finished up um, customizing it. Um, I do have a, I guess this is a self-recovery deal. Uh, we, were, we went out in the marsh um, and we did get stuck a few times. And when you're out in the middle of the marsh, there is nothing. There are no trees, nothing to winch to. So what this does is you put it together. It's in a few pieces. And it's got like a shovel head on it. And you take that shovel head and you drive it into the ground. 
and then you attach your winch to it and uh, you can pretty much pull yourself out of uh, out of anything that uh, you can probably get yourself into without having to have a tree uh, I'm not really sure I want to let this go with it or not um, I do have a Polaris Ranger yet that I could probably still use this but uh, you know, I might let it go for a little bit more with the machine um, got the winch controller this stuff in here Controls the winch, some chain and stuff in there, bolts. Um, it's a pretty clean machine. It's got a few scrapes on it. Um, it holds quite a bit of fuel. There's the fuel tank under there. Um, it's got a parking brake. Um, it runs runs pretty good. Got, I think it's got a governor issue. You gotta run the choke out a little bit. And you can hear it. I'm pretty sure the governor needs to be uh, adjusted on it. Um, like I said, we just don't use it enough to even mess with it. Uh, but it runs good. You uh, select gears right here. You got a forward, neutral, and a reverse. And okay, this little basket actually uh, is hinged and it can be uh, brought up. Uh, to get to the engine, um, it's a 16 horse V twin. Um, it goes it goes pretty good. Um, it's got more than enough power. Uh, it's got this little hood that goes in there too. Um, the seat actually comes out too. There's a wing nut there. There's a wing nut and a bracket there, and a wing nut and a bracket there. Um, I'll pull it out here in a second and show you what's under there. Okay, there you can see the seat's out. Now, it's not too bad to get it out. Uh, you can see the battery right there. Uh, you can see some of the gears and the chain and stuff in there. Um, chain and everything, the bearings are all good. I believe there ain't no nothing uh, going out. There is uh, I think one or two of the chain tighteners that are broke in there and when you turn I forget which way now. When you turn a certain way um, you can hear uh, the chain slop or something happen in, the, in, in there underneath so just wanted to tell you about that too um, pretty sure it's uh, just because there's a uh, a couple of chain tighteners that are, are broken again we don't run it enough to, to fix it so we just never did uh, I don't think they're too hard to get out this whole body lifts off and uh, that's how you get to the underneath take all these wing nuts out and then the body whole body will lift off you got to unhook the the fuel line and stuff but so uh, I guess there it is uh, 95 uh, max 2 6 wheeler for sale good machine um, just needs to uh, uh, go to someone that's actually going to use it um, contact info and uh, price will be in the ad um, so uh, I guess uh, that's, a, that's a look at the machine, and uh, if you're interested, uh, give me a call.